How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and you're watching a tutorial. We're going to print a Poshmark label on our brother QL 1110 NWB printer. It's going to print wirelessly. We're going to set up the printer from factory stock without a desktop, without a laptop, straight from the iPad. This is specifically for iOS devices. It's gonna work on your iPad, it's gonna work on your iPhone, and it's specifically, again, for Poshmark. I have an eBay tutorial, it is on Android, but I'll put a link to that in the corner. And if you wanna see an Android device getting set up with the brother, I will leave a link to that video in the description. And if you wanna see a full review on the brother QL 1110 NWB, I will put a link to that in the description and it will pop up in the corner as well. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. I do appreciate it for you watching and I hope this is uh, valuable to somebody, help somebody else out there. Poshmark is primarily run off of mobile. You can run it off of your iPad, you can run it off of your iPhone, you can pretty much do everything off of mobile and it would be nice to be able to print thermally wirelessly as well because it's just easier. If you didn't already know what a thermal printer is, it uses a print head right here, it creates heat and it transfers an image onto a label that is adhesive and you can stick that on your package and it's really easy and simple. This is unarguably the best printer for Poshmark because of its mobile capabilities. Thermal is top of the line, Mobile capabilities is gonna to be top of the line, so those two things combined, no other printer out there can do it for this price point. Sorry, the Dymo 4XL, the technology is from 2004. That printer actually is terrible, but we'll get into that in another video. I have this printer set up just as I would have gotten it from the factory brand spanking new. We're going to pop it open and load the labels. You can see this foot right here and this arm. Foot goes right here and the arm rests into a little notch right here. We're going to load the labels just like that. Close the top. Make sure your printer is plugged in. I really like that this printer has a small footprint. It doesn't have a power supply hanging off of it. Just this one little cord right here. Uh, and it has a lot of really good tech functions that we get that we're going to use. We're going to power on the printer by hitting the power button right there, but right now it is not connected to anything. We need to get it connected onto our wireless network so we can connect it with our iOS devices. In order to do that, you're going to hold down the WPS button. This wireless LED is going to start blinking fast, meaning that it is trying to connect to your router. This is very important. You go to your router, we have an Asus RTAC68U. It's not going to work if you do not have a router with a WPS button. It should be on the side or on the back. You're going to press and hold the WPS button. This is going to be specific to your router, but we have a blinking indicator right there, meaning that we have activated the, the WPS and the printer and the router can now link up. This will continue to blink until they link up. You will get a solid green light. It might take 15, maybe 30 seconds for them to link. And they do have to be in range of each other. I don't think I mentioned that in my other tutorials, but yes, these have to be in range of each other. And there we go. This is on our wireless network. You're going to want to make sure that your iPad or iOS device is also on the same network that we just connected the printer to. Now, this is where it gets really, really easy. Because this is an AirPrint compatible printer, you don't have to install any additional software onto your iOS device. We're just going to open up Poshmark. We're going to go to our profile, We're going to go down to My Seller Tools, Shipping Label Settings, and you're going to want to make sure that your settings are set on four by six inches, not on eight and a half by 11 because you want it formatted for the four by six thermal printer. Go to an order. We're going to print this order for these commission shorts. Download your shipping label, hit download. It's going to pop up in another window. Now you're going to go to the square with the arrow at the top right, press that. Scroll all the way down, there, there is a print function. Hit print, select the printer. It should already automatically recognize it or you might have to pick it if you have multiple printers on your network. Brother QL 1110 NWB, 
it already recognizes that it's a four by six format. We're going to hit print. It's going to send the job to the printer. It's going to print it out. It cuts the label for us. You're going to take it, take your package, take your label, stick it on, and just like that. I don't think it can get any easier with any other printer out there, especially running it off of mobile. One of the drawbacks with the Brother to iOS compatibility, right now there's no support from Brother for Bluetooth. Out of all the apps I've tried, I have not been able to get Bluetooth support. But as long as you are on the same wireless network, you should be fine. And Brother may roll out that Bluetooth support in the future. If you really need that Bluetooth support, you're going to have to be working off of a laptop or an Android device because the Android devices work with the Bluetooth and a laptop will work fine with the Bluetooth support as well. Hopefully Brother will eventually come out with that Bluetooth support. It's nice to have, even if you don't necessarily need it. But yeah. That's the Brother QL 1110 NWB, the best printer for running a mobile Poshmark business. If you have any questions or concerns about it, or you wanna see any other tutorials, please let me know about them in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.